Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw, and I'm here in Montreal for the Virtuoso Symposium, and I'm here with Yves Lalumière, who is the president and CEO of Tourism Montreal, Montreal, I should say. And we're going to talk a little bit about why Virtuoso selected Montreal, because it's as a luxury destination that they wanted to have their symposium, as well as Montreal as a luxury destination. And we're going to talk about that and more on Insider Travel Report. Now, Yves, first of all, uh, it's great to be back here. I, I have to admit, I haven't been to Montreal in many, many years, and I'm really looking forward to this visit with uh, Virtuoso. Well, it's, it's great to welcome you, and obviously, shame on you for not being here. No, I, I did many, many, many spanks. Yes, yeah. absolutely, but we, we're happy to be spending a few days with us, especially in the Virtuoso Symposium. It's a great opportunity for uh, Montreal. It's nice to be chosen as well as a uh, urban destination to be chosen for luxury travel and for those multipliers, those uh, 400 travel advisor. This is, uh, you know, very proud of this. Yeah, let's talk about why you were selected and what makes Montreal a luxury de destination. Maybe not an ultra luxury destination, but first of all, your hotel product. Uh, what, do you, what do you have in luxury hotels here? Yeah, in terms of uh, luxury hotels, we've got the Queen Elizabeth, we get the Ritz, which is the first Ritz in the world, and let's not, not forget that. The Mount Stephen, which is a boutique hotel, beautiful, and uh, also we've got the uh, the four season mm -hmm. so we've got four we used to have five now we have four which well, is a little uh, boutiques as well yeah, and the boutique hotel is, gives you a, a, a feeling the customization of it personalization and we are one of the few cities with so many boutiques hotels especially in whole Montreal so I think that has a, a, a feel to it I think the luxury travelers the we the, the lifestyle of it uh, is it so we're not an ultra uh, luxury destination, but certainly a luxury one, and the number of restaurants we have, the number well, great restaurants. I was going to get into the culinary. Obviously, Mont Montreal is very famous for its culinary scene and the dining, because you have amazing restaurants here, right? Yeah, well, you know, after New York, we're the, we're the city with the most restaurants on a square mile, and we've got 57 variety, different variety of restaurants in the city as well. And then we've got the, the Maison Boulud of the world, we've got the Toque, we've got Joe Beef, we've got a lot of restaurants. Many of the reports that we have, you know, in the magazine, they highlight the fact that you've got a great culinary scene. No, it, it, I'm looking forward to that part as well, although I won't have enough time to kind of, I really look, I'm going on the culinary tour on Saturday. Not only poutine and not only bagels. Now you got to try to. I heard about burger. bagels and I was like, wait a minute, I'm from New York. I should know bagels, but they, somebody said the best bagels are in Montreal. Yes, that's, that's correct. And we'll, we'll make sure that we bring you some. I know, I got to have try some. Now, also you have experiences here. Uh, you are kind of the circus capital of the world, right? Yes, people, you know, sometimes they think that Cirque du Soleil comes from France or other, you know, they're Vegas, they're everywhere in the world, but they were founded here in Montreal. We've got always their show. They always being tested here. Now we've got Echo here, but we also have other troops as well that are here. So we truly are the circus festival of the world. Yeah, and it's amazing. What are the other kind of luxury experiences that people can get here? Well, I think you've got, you know, Azamara and you've got uh, Crystal and you've got Silver Sea coming into the the, center the cruising, on, yeah. on the cruising, on the cruising site uh, as well. Then you've got the festival. You know, you've got 120 festival. So you want to see a uh, great artist. Well, Montreal's got Oceaga, which is a fantastic, um, uh, the jazz festival is the number one jazz festival. We've got Formula One. I know we were going to talk. We were talking about that earlier. The Formula One puts you on the map as a, a luxury destination. Fastest right? selling a Grand Prix this year is in Montreal. The pilots love Montreal, and uh, we're happy to have it again this year on June 17. No, it's, 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 it's great. I'm looking forward to all of this. Now, what should I experience as a traveler here? What would you recommend? Well, I think what you would do is, is, is very much a, a mix. So you've got great museum, you've got orchestra, you've got the, the festival scene as well, and you've got, you're, you're caught between the island, between the, 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 the St. Lawrence River and the mountain. How many cities in the world have a mountain and are an island as well? So you're, you have the experience, you know, 1,300 parks, You've got a thousand uh, um, uh, miles of uh, cycling. You know, uh, Montreal is in the top 10 mm -hmm. on the Copenhagen index in terms of biking. And you also have, a, it's very safe here in Montreal, right? Yeah, that I can see. I mean, I've been walking around just a bit, but it's an, really, I've wanted to come up here. It's one of those things where you, it's like New York, where you go to a place and you never go to that tourist destination, but Montreal is so close to New York. And you're, you're at the crossroad of America and Europe. 
right, with 150 destinations as well, you know. So the, it's easy to love, it's easy to do business, and it's easy access to be in Mon Montreal. Vous parlez français, c'est? On top of this, well, you have the chance of experiencing a new language. That's right, absolutely. I like practicing and my French. And this at 35% uh, discount because the U.S. dollar is so, uh, dis you know, is so high versus the Canadian dollar. Same thing for, you, for the euro. So you get 35% more food, more fun, and more uh, hotel. Value destination, absolutely. Well, Yves, thank you so much for taking some time to uh, tell our travel advisors out there. We go out to about 116,000 travel advisors around the U.S. and some in Canada uh, about Montreal. Well, so, you know, we welcome 2.5 million Americans every year, and we just want more. You know, there's still a lot of room for us, a lot of room for you to come and visit and just learn a few words in, the, in French, though. That's right. I try. I, I will try. Now, where is where can you go to get more information about Montreal? Well, in our site, you know, uh, obviously, to Tourism Montreal, and uh, we have an increase of 55% over last year in terms of visit visitation. And in terms of the U.S. market, in terms of Google, you're talking now around 75% more uh, visit than we did in 22. So lots of Americans are, are looking for Montreal. And again, uh, you know, we've got, uh, you know, great hotels and great restaurants for you. And tourism is back now after that pandemic? Oh, it's not going to stop anymore now. That's fantastic. I think what we're seeing all around. I'm looking forward to my visit. I've got four more days here. Yves, thank you for taking the time with us. Merci beaucoup. À bientôt. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.